So and my God knows me. So as we listen, as we be playing it. To Daniel. So we just listen to Daniel while he play the piano. As we go into the song, it's a very popular song. I know my God together with the mother or together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Amen. We'll be singing together to the glory of God. I know my God and my God knows me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are created in the image of God. Yes. Uh, Christ resides in us. Yes. We call those things that are known as though they were. Amen. Yes. Amen. Even at this time of coronavirus, uh, we are going to sing this song because of our relationship we have with God. We know who we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know my God and my God knows me. We yes. know who we are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 residing in Seoul, in Korea, and uh, we thank God for those of us watching. I believe uh, that everything we do today is going to bless 
you and yes, if you also bless me. Amen. And so we want to first thank God for today. And because after the Easter, the question is, what next after the Easter? What next after the Easter? What next after the Easter? So I want us at this time to go ahead and begin to appreciate God for how God has blessed you to this time and how God has kept you to this minute, despite what is going on in the whole world, the global okay, virus that is you know, treating people, you know, yes, somehow. So I want you to go ahead and just thank God. Number one, thank God for life. You know, just thank God for life, for keeping your life, number one, life. Yes, right, go ahead and thank God for life. Giving God all the glory. Thank God for life. Go ahead and begin to appreciate God for God giving us life. Life more abundantly. The Bible says in John 10, 10, that the thief cometh to steal, kill, destroy. But Jesus Christ came that we might have life and have it so much abundantly. Abundant life, abundant life. Yes, Lord. You know, he has given us exuberant life. Hallelujah. You know, he has given us exuberant life. Hallelujah. You know, you just go ahead and thank God for your life. Thank, you, thank God for how you are. Thank God for life. Yes. Thank God for life. Wherever you are, thank God for life. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to, you know, thank Him. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, it's in Lord. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ on your body, on your soul, on your, you know, emotion. Yes, on your Lord mind Jesus. right now, begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to plead the blood. Christ, Wherever you Jesus are, Christ. plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ on your surroundings, on your environment. The blood still walk. The blood still walk. The blood still walk. The blood still walk. The blood still walk, the blood still walk, the blood still walk, the blood of Jesus still walks today. Lord and the Jesus blood Christ. is the last plague, the blood is the last thing, the blood, the blood drives away every power, yes. uh, you know, every evil power, the blood of Jesus Christ, of Jesus as Christ. this coronavirus is leaving, yes. it's going away step by step. It's going away step by step. Yes, it's going away step by step. Lord and pretty Jesus soon Christ. you will hear it no more. You will see it no more. Yes. You will hear it no more. Amen. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Coronavirus, Jesus. the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. It's against you. The blood of children is against you. Coronavirus, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Coronavirus, coronavirus, wherever you are, anywhere you are. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Amen. It's against you. Amen. It's against you. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. It's 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 against you. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. And I want you to begin to speak in tongues. Yes. You know, the Bible says in Jude 20, 120, it said, Build up yourself in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Ghost. I don't know how many of you have gotten the Holy Ghost right now. Whenever you are, just, be, just begin to pray in tongues right now. He said, Build up yourself. Build up yourself. Anytime you, you are speaking in tongues, you are building up your spiritual muscle. Spiritual muscle. They keep by Anashkoto in a Seladoska. Seshkotala, they keep the Kodoska. Be the Kodaba, Sekodaba, they kiss Kodo, say me the Prekodola, they prakodosh, Kapayana, Skolo, Seshkotalaba, Madele, Mate Kodadoska, they cook those who pa in the Keto Locos Kotodama, Regale, Malapreke, the Kopratala, Jesse Kotola, Meko in the Kopratala, 
C'est Use me as a pen of a ready writer. Let your word impute in me to the people. Let your word that is sharper than two-edged sword touch and divide the soul and the asunder. Thank you unto the Lord. Father, decrease also that you might increase. Amen. Father, we pray against this coronavirus that they decrease right now so that you might increase yes. in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, we speak against coronavirus right now to decrease now, to decrease, to decrease, to decrease, as is happening in Korea, Father, is decreasing in Korea, and that is how it will decrease in the other part of the world in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, today we have eight cases in Korea. Eight cases in Korea physically. Eight cases in Korea. That means it's living. Father, as it's living, other nations too, it will lead the other nation in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, decrease. Father, Father, we ask that you decrease it. Decrease every 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 virus so that you might increase. You might increase. You might increase. Yes. You might increase. Thank you on today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I have a short word today, not, not long word. Now the question is, after the Easter, what next? After the blood, after the blood is shed for you, what do you use the blood for? Or what, what are you going to use the blood for right now? Now, I'm going to speak a topic that, 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 that I title. Dominion over sin. What does I say? Dominion over sin. Yes. Dominion over sin. Dominion over sin. Dominion over sin. And our scripture reference, our scripture anchor, is taken from the book of Romans 6, verse 14. Romans 6, verse 14. Romans 6, verse 14. Someone please can read Romans chapter 6, verse 14, please. Yes, ma'am. Death shall not have dominion over you. Mm. Be not under the law, but under grace. Amen. Amen. Did you see it? It said, for sin, did you see that word? For sin shall not have dominion over you. So it means you have dominion already. From the onset in Genesis, we have been given dominion. You know, he had already given us dominion because of what to come. Because of what to come, what to come, what to come, the things to come against us. So we have dominion. And now he's saying, Apostle Paul is speaking to the church in Romans. He said, for sin shall not have dominion. He's speaking to the people, you know, to the church people. To the people in the church, not to the outsiders. That means to say, there are still people in the church still living in sin. Despite the blood of Jesus, they still live in sin. Despite the blood of Jesus, they still live in sin. Despite the resurrection power, they still live in sin. And the Bible said, for, for sin shall not have dominion over you. My brother, my sisters, the word shall connect finality. It connects a declaration that cannot be changed. Please, not this, not this, not, not this. It says, sin shall not. Not sin may not. He says, sin shall not. My brother, my sisters in Christ, those watching me today, if you can understand the scripture, all your struggles with sin will be settled because you don't struggle with what you have dominion over. I'm telling you. So please, dominion over sin is possible. It is possible because Christ's death, it means, it, it means, it means to you and I, the dominion. He has already given us the dominion. Amen. If Christ can have dominion over sin, 
over temptation, also we too we have the dominion because he has given you and I the dominion over sin. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so my brother, as we see in Romans 6 verse 1, Romans 6 verse 1, it said, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You see that same grace? Now when you look at this, you know, when you look at Romans 6 14, it talks about grace. He said, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Now we are under grace. We are under grace. Because in Romans 6, you know, Romans 6, verse 1, it says what? It says what? For sin shall not have dominion over you. Okay, do you see it? Uh -huh. It says, Shall we? Now shall we means including me. I'm a preacher, I'm a pastor, I'm a father. I, I, I'm not exempted. Don't, don't say this man is exempted. We are into it together. He said, he said, he said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He, he said, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Everybody say, God forbid. God forbid. That is it, my brother. So, after the resurrection, and so what, where are you right now? We have been given in dominion. He said, for sin shall not have dominion. Sin. Now, I'll tell you the truth, my brother. I'll tell you, you know, the reason, you see, the reason God says sin shall not have dominion over you is because the power of sin has been broken. Amen. The power of sin has been broken because when Jesus died on the cross, he broke the backbone of Satan, who is the author of sin, and made it possible for man to live above sin. He bore our sins and was bruised for our iniquity, so that we will not live in sin again. Jesus knew no sin, but he was made to be sin for us, that we might be made what the righteousness. Of God in him. So please, I want us to turn our Bible to 2 Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21, please. 5.21. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes. That we might be the righteousness of God. That is it. You know, see, he knew no sin. He knew no sin, but he made, but he was made to be sin for us. And so, my brother, what is, what is sin? Sin means satanic impacted nature. Now, in Luke 22, verse 3, the Bible says, Satan entered Judas. So, Satan carried out the nature of Satan. Because the Bible says in Luke 22, verse 3, Satan what? Entered Judas. That means he put his nature into Judas. That is the meaning of sin. Sin means satanic, impactful nature. That is it. So, Judas has to carry out the nature of the devil. Most of us today, we have that nature in us. Despite we say the Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus Christ. Despite, you know, it's inside us. We are carrying out his nature. We are carrying out his character. I'm telling my brother. And so I want to beg us of all today that we pray that the nature of the devil should not be seen in our lives. Why? Because of the blood of Jesus Christ. So, and so we have the dominion over sin. Say, I have the dominion. I have the dominion. Over sin. Over sin. That is it. So you have dominion already. And so my brother, my sisters in Christ, you need to do what? Understand that when God speaks to us in his word, he doesn't tell us what we are presently. Rather, he shows to us what we are expected to be or what we can become by virtue of what has been done on our behalf. And so, because the sin issue has been settled through the death, through his resurrection, 
God's judgment is that he shall no longer have dominion over you. Amen. That is God's judgment. He shall no longer, he shall no longer have dominion over us. No matter what your story has been to now, sin shall not have dominion over you. Say, sin shall not have dominion over me. Sin shall not have dominion over me. That is it. That is it. Don't forget, sin means satanic impacted nature. You are not seeing the devil, but he's using you. He's using you to carry out his nature. Today, that's why we have many antichrists today. Many antichrists today. Many antichrists today. As this COVID-19 is on, you will see many antichrists coming out. So There are so many. I will deal with that maybe next time. And so, my brother and my sisters in Christ, so, sin has been settled. Sin issue has been settled. Has been settled. That is why he said, sin shall not have dominion over you. Over you. Over you. It's a three word, S-I-N. But it's so powerful when it starts using you. When that nature starts using you. Oh my God. I pray that the nature of the devil should not be in our lives in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh -huh. So quickly, let's also open the first Corinthians. First Corinthians 6, 9 to 11. First Corinthians 6, 9 to 11. First Corinthians 6, yes, 9 to 11. Yes, ma'am. Jesus Christ. So, 
He says, and by the Spirit of our God. Now, this is a description of you, you know, of, of who you were before, before new births, before new births, and who you are now after new births. Don't forget, you were once among the unrighteous, living under the power of sin. But now you are washed, but now you are sanctified, but now you are what? Justified. That means whatever happens to you after you are born again is only temptation. Say it's only temptation. It's only temptation. That is it. So whatever happens to you and I right now is temptation. Temptation, you know, will be coming from left to right after your new birth. Everybody is tempted. Don't forget, temptation is not equal to sin. But submitting to it that makes it a sin. One more time, I repeat that word again. Temptation is not equal to sin. But submitting to it that make it a sin. We all are tempted after, after new birth. Before new birth, we were in. But after new birth, what happened? Temptation. Temptation. Because we cannot go back to drinking anymore. We can't go back to start taking women and women, uh, you know, men and start smoking cigarettes. No way anymore. Because new birth is new birth, you know, new birth and the old birth, I mean, and the old birth is different. You cannot put them together. Yeah. So my brother... My sisters in Christ. That means whatever happens to you now is, is what? Temptation. Amen. Because temptation means what? It is only a trial by the enemy to see whether you know where you belong to or not. Mm. You're no longer under the power of sin anymore. So what you are seeing right now is temptation. And this temptation will come even in the midst. Even among your brothers. Even among your sister. We will be tempting you. We will be tempting you. We will be tempting you. Not people outside, but people inside. Mm. They'll be tempting you. Temptation, like I told you before, temptation is not equal to sin, but submitting to it. Yes. So, my brother, we all are tempted. Jesus Christ was tempted. People can tempt you. A woman can tempt the husband. The husband can tempt it. Like that, it comes in between it. It, it, it. it comes in. So, after your new birth, what you'll be experiencing is temptation yes. and temptation is not a sin it's just that it's a trial you know trying to know where we belong to mm. just like the seven sons of uh, Skiva seven sons of Skiva you know they ask him Jesus I know and what happened Paul I know, Paul, I know. then who are you, who are you? <laughs> the, 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 who are you then I know the character of Jesus the character of Paul, but you are using the name, but the character is not inside you. Oh my God. Then who are you then? Who are you? You proclaim the name. You love, you know, you love the things of God, but it's not inside you. Oh my God. So my brother, my sisters in Christ, what you'll be seeing after is what they call what? Temptation. Amen. Temptation. Quickly, let's see the scripture in Colossians 2, 13 to 15. Colossians 2, 13 to 15, please. Praise Col the Lord. Hallelujah. And you, being dead in your trespasses mm -hmm. and the uncircumcision yes. of your flesh, mm. has he has made alive together with him. Yes. Having forgiven you all trespasses. Yes. Amen. 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 14? Yes, to 15. Um, having wiped out the handwriting of requirement yes. that was against us, yes. which was contrary to us, yes. and he has taken it out yes. of the way, having yes. nailed it to the cross, yes. having disarmed principalities and powers, yes. he made a public spectacle of them, mm. triumphing over them in mm. it. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now, the scripture, like you read, we were once dead in sin. Don't forget. Like I told you before, I'm not a saint. I was in sin before. But what I'm receiving right now is temptation. People can tempt you to see, you know, how you, you know, how you respond. Many temptations can come in. I'm telling you, many trials, temptation. They want to know whether you still know, you know, whether you still belong to who you say you belong to. I'm telling you. Now, so we have so many antichrists today. Antichrist, antichrist, try to imitate Christ. Trying to do what Christ was doing. I pray God open your eyes in this season to know who the Antichrist are. Amen. Amen. 
Now we were once dead in sin. Now Colossians 2, like we read, it makes us to understand that through his death, Jesus has forgiven all our trespasses and quickened us together with himself. Not only that, he blotted out the handwriting of requirement that was against us by nailing it to his cross. Don't forget that. His poor principalities and powers, he conquered Satan and all his forces and made a public show of them. Praise God, somebody. Hallelujah. And that is the basics of Romans 6, verse 14, that says, sin, that means everything that represents evil, represents yes. anger, represents, represent, you know, covetousness, lying shall not have dominion over you. Can I hear you, man? Amen. Now listen to this before I, you know, I stop. Until we release the past, we cannot receive the future. Wherever we, you are, I want you to release your past right now. Release your past. Don't take hold of your past. Release your past. Release your past. Release your past. Release your past. Because there's still but. There is still but. There is still but. There is still but. But means continuation of your life. But, but, but means continuation. There is still hope after now. There is still hope. There is still hope. Forget about your past. Forget your past. Forget about your past. Until we release the past, we cannot release, we cannot receive the future. Amen. The devil will continuously accuse you of your past sin. Tell the devil and his mother-in-law. You know what you tell them? Tell the mother-in-law and the devil and his mother-in-law. <laughs> tell him that you have dominion over, over, over them. Amen? Amen. Tell the mother-in-law that I've got dominion. You cannot accuse me anymore. Whether in the dream, they, they might come to you in the dream and begin to accuse you of something that you're already free from. Tell the devil and his father in law that they are bastard. Amen. Amen. Tell the devil, shut up your mouth. <laughs> because I am justified. Because I am sanctified. Because I am purified. Can I hear you, man? Amen. So please, I beg of you, don't ever think of, of you know of your past. Forget the past. Let the past go. Because there is a brighter future. That brighter future means but. Mm. But. But ye are washed. Yes. That is hope. But I am washed. I am washed. But I am sanctified. I am but sanctified. I am sanctified. Can I hear you, man? Amen. So my brother, don't ever stay in your past. Your past is past for your process. Because your past means your process to where you are now. Mm. So my brother, until we release the past... We cannot receive the future. We cannot receive the future. We cannot receive the future. Our future is brighter than our past. <laughs> our future is brighter than our past. Our past is just a preamble. Our past is just a process to where we are now. Now, both represent hope. Say, I have hope. I have hope. Whatever you are watching me, say, I have hope. I have hope. So, there is hope. After your past, do not commit suicide. Do not think of su suicidal. No. No. Wherever you are right now, anywhere you, you are sick right now, always speak to yourself. Say, I am watched. I am, I am sanctified. I am justified. This sickness is not unto death. Can I hear amen? Amen. So, so, so my brother, don't forget it. Don't forget because you are a new creature now. All things are passed away and everything becomes uh, new. Everything is new. After this COVID, there's going to be new things. New things will come. New things. Are, uh, I believe God that new things are coming. New things are coming. New things are coming. New things are coming. Yeah. After this COVID-19 that is stretching the whole world, you see God's glory will be displayed globally in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, but for now, we are learning. For now, we are in isolation. So what do you do at this time is to quarantine yourself with prayer and the word. Mm. Vaccine yourself with the word. Vaccine yourself with the word. That is why the word cannot find a solution to this corona. They can't find a solution. They, they, they try to get a vaccine. They try to get a vaccine. They don't know this one is more than, more than what they are thinking. 
body. All you do vaccine your body with the word of God. Yes. Vaccine your body with the word of God. Check the word of God in your spirit. Build up yourself in the, you know, build up yourself with the word of God. Because the word of God is able to build you up. Can I hear you, amen? Amen. So vaccine your body. Vaccine your body with the, you know, vaccine your spirit with the word of God. Quarantine yourself with prayers. Pray. With prayers, with prayers, with prayers, with prayers. Quarantine yourself. That is why God brought us together. That is why today we are isolated at all to do what? To pray. Yes. To pray. Because the more you pray, the more the vision is clear. The more you pray, the more the purpose is clear. It's not, my, my brother, it's not about speed, it's about direction. If I ask you today, what do you choose? Is it speed or, or is it is it speed or direction? direction. Somebody will you know will start choosing speed. No, you have to choose direction. Say direction. Direction. That is it, not speed. Because speed is, is inside direction. Okay? Speed is inside direction. I'm telling my brother. So for God's sake, at this time, don't kill yourself. Don't think about the future. The future, God owns the future. And the future, he will give it to you. All you do is to rely on him, to trust on him. Don't allow the past to take hold of your future. Your past is past. Your future is bright. Your future is wonderful. Your future is excellent. That is why we are washed. We are sanctified. Say with me there, whatever you are, say, I have dominion. I have dominion. Say, I have dominion. I have dominion. Over fear. Over, over sicknesses, over, sicknesses. Over, diseases. over diseases, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I have dominion. I have dominion. Anywhere you are there, whatever you are sick, I don't care to know. Even if you are you are on your sick bed, you have been given that authority, that dominion to dominate. Don't allow them to dominate you. Yes. Make sure you dominate. Say, I have dominion. I have, I have dominion. dominion over sickness, over sickness, over diseases, over diseases. Yes, over affliction, over affliction, over depression, over depression. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now say with me. Say, I have been washed. I have been washed. I have been sanctified. I have, I have been sanctified. I have been justified. I have been justified. Yes, by the wonder working power of the blood of Jesus Christ. By the wonder working power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, now, say what we say. Blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. Take hold of my bones. Take hold of my bones. Take hold of my liver. Take hold of my liver. Take hold of my lungs. Take hold of my lungs. Take hold of my heart. Take hold of my heart. Say, Blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. 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 Now before I leave, I have two scriptures that will take and I will leave this place. Amen. Amen. The other scripture is in is in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27 to 28. Leviticus 19. Yes, yes, and 28. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, mm. neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Mm. No. Yet ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, mm. nor print any marks upon you. Mm. I am the Lord. Do mm. you see that scripture? You know, today most of us we have different kind of hairstyle. You know, but the scriptures is, is condemning that right now, as we read in Leviticus. I want us to see it very well. Before, even myself talking today, I have a kind of Esther. Before, I used to plait my hair. Before, I used to plait my hair. I know this one will get some people offended, but this is the real thing. 
This is the right truth. Before, I used to plait my hair. I'm not a woman. But I will ask people to come and plait my hair. Did you see? Did you see it? And the scripture, I want you to see that scripture very well. We can use it anytime. You know, he said, you shall not round the corners of your head. That means you have to tell them, please put style here. Please cut here. Please cut over there. You are the one telling him to put to put those things. You know, neither shall that man the corners of your beard. We have beard, but we use it to, you know, we use the clipper to begin to put shape. You know, but the Bible says this. Then, then it says, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Cuttings could be tattoo, you know, tattoo. You know, tattoo, tattoo. I know this thing is going to offend a lot of people, I know. But this tattoo, when it comes to your body, but after you are born again, after you are born again, the tattoo is still there, it's still there. That is no sin. I repeat again. I want, I want to balance it. Listen. After you become a born again, and the tattoo is still there, you know, it is no more sin. It's just like me now. Right now, I'm a born again. But that be born again on you, bro, does not make me taller, right? No. Does not make me taller. Does not make me taller or shorter. So it's still there. It's still there. That does not make you a sinner. But if you know it already in the scripture and you go and do it, it becomes a sin. Absolutely. I'm telling you. So I want you to understand this. Before we were in, we were ignorant. We did it. Now that we are born again right now, we are born again, you know, we are born again. That mark, Oscar, is still there. That does not make you a sinner. When the mark is still there, that does not make you a sinner. It, 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 it does not make you a sinner. All right, my brother, it does not make you a sinner. But if you know that this thing, well, I mean, is wrong, and you go and start doing it, it makes you a sinner. Hmm. That is it. Hmm. But don't forget again. After you become born again on new birth, the mark is still there. You are no more a sinner. But the mark is still there. All right? So, uh -huh, exactly. It has been removed. So, I want to balance it. So, people will be saying, you know, so people will be saying, right now, what, what do you mean? You know, but I mean, after getting new birth, yes. the mark is still there. That does not make you a sinner. You've already been washed. Be justified, be sanctified by his precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then, and the other one is in Exodus. Exodus 20, 5 to 6. 20? Yes, Exodus 20, 5 to 6. You shall not bow down to them, mm. nor serve them. Yes. For I am the Lord your God. Yes. Am I a jealous God? Yes. Visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children. Yes. So the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Yes. Amen. But showing, uh -huh. but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. Now, after new birth, you are free from generational cause. Amen. Now, when you look at it, it said, Thou shalt not bow down the self to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord, thy God, I'm a jealous God. Visit him. Visit him. Yeah, thank you, man. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Visit him. You see, visit him. It's a visiting the iniquity of the fathers. Don't forget. Or the fathers means your ancestors. Your ancestors. Upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that do what? That do what? I want people to answer. That do what? That do hate me. That do hate me. You see, so when you hate God, those sins will be following you. Mm. That means you are still living in the past of your forefathers. My God. But now you are out of them. You now have a new birth. The cause will no longer come anymore. No more cause because look at look at see now look at this uh, six. He said, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my word. My commandment. That is it. That's the answer to that. Okay. It's in Exodus. Exodus 20 from 5 to 6. Exodus chapter 20, 5 to 6. 
So, uh -huh. this will now start working in your new back now. No more course. No more directional course. Because you love him. Because you love God, those courses will not come anymore. Because he already told you, don't bow yourself to them. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous eh, God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers. You see, fathers? Not one, not father. Fathers. Our great, 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 great grandfather that we don't even know. Some of them, they are, they are wizards, they are witches. Some of them, they are native doctors. They, some of them, you know, they are worshippers of other idols, of which we don't know. He said, he said, he will visit the iniquity of the father upon the children. You see, upon the children. The children, they are already innocent. But he said, you will visit them unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So if you hate God, it means that what? Those things will be coming upon not only you, upon your children, children. So, but the answer to it is number six. And showing mercy unto thousands. Because there are many. We are many. Amen. Wow. Even my own great, even my own grandfather and great father, I was told he was a native doctor. I was told that he was worshipping idols. So when I discovered it, I started to pull myself out, washed. Because I'm not a new birth now. All things are gone. Those causes no longer come anymore. So that is why today you, you can see it. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. So love covereth the multitude of what? Sin. Of sin. Love covereth what? The multitude of what? Sin. Of sin. So God's love has covered us and his mercies has covered us already. But make sure you are you are living right. Your new birth is intact. Don't forget it. If the devil accuses you, listen to me. If the devil and his mother-in-law accuse you, tell him to shut up. Tell him, I have been washed. I have been justified. I have been sanctified by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't keep quiet. Make sure you, you, you say, because that is your, you, because you have audacity, audacity now. You have dominion. You have dominion over, 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 over courses of hell. Over depression, over sickness, over diseases. Oh yes. Don't allow the devil to accuse you anymore. Oh yes. When he accuses you one time, you accuse you hundred times. When he shoot one, boom, you shoot. Boom, 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 boom. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. brother. So please, I beg of you, always, always know your new right. Know your new right before you are having the right of your father. Know, know, know your new right in Christ. I have been washed. I have been justified. Mm. I have been purified. I have been. That is it. That is your new right now. Hallelujah. Whenever he accuses you, whether in your dream, whether whatever, make sure you let him know and his mother in law that you, are, you have been washed. You have been, you have been justified. You have been sanctified. Can I hear amen? Amen. So finally, finally. Let's open one scripture, then I will leave you today. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 14. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 14. Yes. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 14. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 14. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 14. Yes, ma'am. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Kabala malako kosh kodama. So Christ today has given me dominion. Dominion. If Christ have not risen, oh my God. Oh my God. My preaching is in vain. My faith is in vain. But thank God for Jesus Christ who rose from the dead. According to the scripture, he said, if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. Our faith is also vain. And also, read 17, man. 
Read 17. 17 says. Yes. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sin. Oh, you see now. Did you see it? We are yet in our sin if he has not risen. Uh, yes. But now that he, he rose, our sins are forgiven. Amen. Because rising up means our new birth now. Hallelujah. Anytime the devil accuses us, let him know and his mother in law. That don't you know he rose? So long he rose, I rose. Yes. If Christ has risen, meet you, I, I, I also rose. Mm. Let him know. Don't be quiet. When he accuses you on your body, tell him no, you cannot kill me. Mm. You cannot kill me because I am untouchable, I am unkillable, I am undiable. Yes. So the devil, you cannot kill me because I know who I am in Christ. Yes. Before I was deceived by you. Before I was deceived by you. But you cannot you cannot deceive me anymore. Yes. Can I hear amen in the house? Amen. So wherever you are, I want you to stand up and begin to pray. Amen. I want you to say with me. Say with me. Say, say with me wherever you are. Say from today. From, from today. today. I know who I am in Christ. I know who I am in Christ. I cannot be deceived anymore. I cannot be deceived anymore. Because I've got the dominion. Because I've got the dominion. Over sickness. Over sickness. Over depression. Over depression. Over diseases. Over diseases. Diseases, you cannot dominate me. Diseases, you cannot dominate me. Because I've got dominion. Because I've got dominion. So sickness. So sickness. In my body. In my body. I command you right now. I command you right now. With authority. Come out. With the authority. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This pain on my ankle. This pain on my ankle. I command you right now. I command you right now. Receive life. Receive life. Receive. Go ahead now. Wherever you are, receive, receive, receive it now. Receive life. Anywhere you know you, you have the pain. Let, let that pain receive life. Receive because you have dominion. 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 Receive it. Receive it now. Receive life. Dominion. 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 I receive life. 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 Life in my bones. Life in my bones. Life in my bones. Life in my abdomen. Life in my lungs. Life in my kidney. Life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. You've got dominion. You've got power. You've got dominion. You've got power. You've got power. Your prayer is not in vain. Your faith is not in vain. If Christ has no reason, we are in trouble. But right now we are no more in trouble. Trouble your trouble right now. Trouble your trouble. Trouble your trouble. Trouble your trouble. Trouble your trouble. Trouble it now because you've got the power. You've got the dominion over sickness, over sin, over diseases, over depression. Everyone watching from the Facebook over there. Any, anywhere you are, right now, I command depression to leave you now. I command depression to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. I soak your bones. I soak your kidney. I soak your lungs. I soak every part of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Receive life now. Receive life now. Receive life now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. And so, please, I want to sit down for a bit. Please, before I go, there's a scripture I want you to put in your, in your spirit. It's very important, please. Because anytime you open scripture, it's a backup. Yes. It's a backup, you know. It's a, it, it, it's a backup. Yes. Now, I want you also open to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, 22 to 23. Yes, tw 22, 22 to 23. Yes, ma'am, to 23. Yes. 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 Knowing that they do gender strikes. Mm. Uh -huh. 
At this time of a new birth, be careful of the question you ask. Be very careful. There are some questions that can make you fight. Don't ask those questions. As in, I'm telling you, because you're, you are now new men in Christ. Yes. According to the scripture we read in 2 Timothy, please, 2 Timothy 2, 22, it says flee also. It says you should flee means disappear, run away, run. Yes, yes. Run away quickly. But it says run away from youthful loss, but follow after righteousness. Righteousness means right living, right living, right living, right living, right living. Righteousness. Righteousness. There is a faith. At this time, we must have faith. At this time of the COVID-19, you and I must have faith. Yes. And charity. Charity means love. Charity. Then we must have peace within one another. Amen. With them, or not for everybody listening, he said, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Because not everybody can understand you. And that is why Chronicles said, say, be foolish. Did you see it? Be foolish and unlearned questions. Avoid. Avoid. Because people don't, don't have understanding. I'm telling you, in this time, they don't have understanding. You may talk and talk, and what they will do, they will still do it. So you don't need to argue with them. Yes. Because they are looking for a fight. And this thing happens in the church, not outside. Uh. So please, at this time of the COVID-19 isolation, please be careful. Some of the questions that you want to ask your fellow brothers, be very careful, or your fellow sister, be very careful. Uh. It might offend, it might offend one another. So be yeah. careful, don't try to tempt him. This is in the church, not outside the church. Please be very careful. Please be very careful. At this time, at this time, Talk to those that understand you. That's why he said, flee also youthful lust. Flee. He said, run away. Because there are going to be a lot of things on the Facebook. People will be naked in. Even at this time. Uh -huh. People will be naked in and showing their nakedness. Uh -huh. They are showing their nakedness. They are showing their nakedness. Be very careful. Don't lust after them. But follow, follow righteousness, right living, right living. Hallelujah. And have faith in this time. Charity, love yourself, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. Have peace within yourself. Mm. Once you have peace within yourself, it means you have peace with God. Mm. With them, all, not everybody, I told, you, I told you before, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. At this time, you will know who love you. At this time, you will know who have peace with you. At this time, you begin to know people. People act at you at this time. Mm. How do we know this? Let's also go to that Second Timothy because I want you to get this on. In that Second Timothy two verse nineteen, let us let us see nineteen. Nevertheless, yes. The foundation of God standeth sure. Okay. Having this seal. Yes. The Lord knoweth them that is His. Mm. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Do you see it? He said, God knows who I is. Yes. Look, listen to me. After this COVID-19, you will see what will happen. Mm. Many clubs will come out. Many clubs. There will be a lot of sin. I'm telling you, my brother. There will be a lot of sin. A lot of havoc. Why? There will be a lot of prayers also. A lot of prayers. Prayers. Yes. I'm telling you, a lot of prayers. Oh, yes. There will be, there'll be a lot of what? Right living. Right living. Uh, right living also. Yeah. Because... Look at it. He said, he said, he said, The foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Iniquity. Yes, Lord. So, my brother, there's going to be many antichrists also in this time. Mm. People will travel somewhere and be given to people, not knowing that they are what initiating them. Mercy. Don't forget about it. Those giving, you see them giving. Be very careful. They will travel from here and go somewhere to start giving. To start giving to the poor nation. Like the third world nation. And some of them are not even believers. Some of them, they are the antichrist. You, you, you may not know who are the antichrist. Yeah. The 5G, we're talking about that. The 5G, it means fifth generation. Fifth generation. But there's a power behind it. 
right. A power behind it. A power behind it. My brother, let me stop here. And um, I give God the glory for your life. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Amen.